Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are tied into the Google ecosystem, be that on your desktop or mobile device or both, like I am, then just to let you know that if you are using Google Collections, that recently Google has started to roll out a brand new visual redesign for Google Collections and also a material you refresh for collections on desktop and also on your mobile phone and mobile device. Now to get to collections, um, if you are unaware, um, from the Google Chrome web browser on desktop, you just head to your apps list on the new tab page and you'll find that in that drop down flyout menu and on your mobile device, um, it's part of the Google app which is prominent on most Android devices. Now if you open collections out of the gate, you can see that there is a brand new a material you refresh as mentioned and Google has started to remove the old user interface and has now um, replaced that and started to replace that old user interface with a simple layout of your existing collections and once again you can see that more modern minimalistic rounded corners and um, look and feel very similar to what they have started to roll out to some of the other um, Google apps and services and Gmail was one which I did post on a while back which was very prominent with this new visual redesign. Now it's not just a user interface that has changed and a new user interface that Google has started to roll out and by the way you can see my collections is very um, sparse. I haven't got a lot saved and then that's because of privacy reasons. I'm just using a secondary account so not too much going on but I'm sure that by the end of the video you will get a general idea. Now this new user interface um, was made available a couple of weeks ago where Google started to roll it out for both desktop and um, mobile and uh, um, I have received it over the last couple of days in my region so you may have noticed this or may not have but just letting you know in case you are unaware. Now there are a couple of new features and I would say the most prominent is this new prominent interface here where um, there's an interface now for your collections you like or have saved from other users and this is very handy um, all saved items appear in one prominent interface and menu now which is very hand handy I find on my Android phone so that's a nice um, new little feature for collections and then um, yeah you would have all your different collections that you have saved individually and um, you can also call those collections um, and rename those to your own personal choice and there's also organization options and here we get a new little feature at the bottom where you can create collection items by adding a link text and an image um, of your own choice so if you click on this link and also that link over there in your collections you can create from a link create from all saved items and create from a blank template so those are a couple of new um, ways to create collections by using links and adding a link as an example and um, in case you are kind of in the dark at this stage and you don't have a clue what collections are or what they do um, I will leave a link to this post by Google in the description save links images and more to collections which will give you a much better idea and a more in-depth look of how you can use collections on Android um, your computer and your iPhone and iPad as I'm not going to get into that today that's a video for a whole other day but just letting you know that I will leave this in the description and that collections now has received that new visual redesign and material you refresh on desktop and also mobile devices so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one